Hey guys, uh, Alex and Smoke here. Um, Justin is not joining us tonight because of uh, health problems. So we're going to be doing a tag team video tonight. Mm -hmm. um, we we want to do you a favor right now. We're going to talk about The Last of McGinnis, the Nigel McGinnis retirement DVD, which he spent, I believe it was the later part of 2000, was it 11 or 2012? I believe it was Two, 11. It was 11, yeah. And um, just what we'll be talking about the DVD, we actually got the pleasure of meeting uh, Mr. Nigel McGinnis at the Dearborn ROH show last Friday. We um, It was very honored to meet him, got the DVD signed by him, and um, we just want to talk about this. We're not going to give any, we're not going to tell you about the spoilers of like what happened with Nigel. That's for you guys to look on your own and, you know, see the DVD, which is well worth the money. Definitely. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we'll be sure to post a link below of where you can go buy the DVD. Um, but we're just going to talk about like what we think, what were our favorite parts, and uh, do you want to start us off? Yeah, sure. Um, I thought that the DVD as a whole was just, it was spectacular. I thought it was really well done. I liked the, how he picked music that you're not used to hearing. Um, and you could tell that he worked really hard on it. Mm -hmm. um, and for a guy that doesn't do this stuff, I mean, he learned it all from, I mean, editing, mm -hmm. uh, picking the music, everything he did all on his own. Yeah. It was just... It was really, really well done. I think he had like a little help from guys in Los Angeles when he, like, he talked about the end, like he's going to Los Angeles to meet people, or whatever. But still, he he did it all by himself. Right, though. and he but. he went out of his way to make sure he knew what he what right what was going yeah. into his it. fantastic. Um, but like, yeah, I'm a big documentary guy. I've seen, like, I went on like a, a documentary bender for a while ago. Like, just started watching a ton of them, and this is probably one of the most phenomenally well produced documentaries because. He does a really good job of like telling you who he is, where he comes from, and like just kind of like you know, and gives you like a really does nice job of like building up, having build up to like the final reveal of why he's not in the WWE, why he's not in TNA anymore, what happened with his career, and all the while telling like his showing his story like about him like really questioning like oh was my career a success was it all a waste did I really accomplish what I set out to accomplish and just you you see Nigel in a whole new light you just see like what kind of guy he really is and just how really broken up he was about this and just how like affected by this he was and it, it's it's really almost tragic in a way like just when you see like him like there's this part at the end of the movie which we're not going to say what he says but just where he is like breaking down before the day before his tour and just you see Nigel in his most raw emotion and just y you feel like horrible for this guy who's the yes. most one of the most talented get wrestlers ever to come out of our wage definitely like top three guys ever yeah, oh, yeah. yeah definitely probably punk and daniel a guy that he really shaped the landscape of what people see as mainstream wrestling oh yeah these absolutely days. guys who are at the top of the business they you know they chip their teeth with nigel you mm -hmm. know so yeah but you know and it's a shame that a guy who literally has there's no reason he should not be the WWE. no reason he should be in tna no reason he had to retire really just be just he retired basically because well we don't want to get too, too right far right right but, but uh I do want to touch on the the fact that he, I mean, he did a, fine, a fantastic job of making this like a human story. Absolutely, you know, like we we got to hear about Nigel's life, but not only that, but he sat down with guys all over the indie scene, and these guys were, you know, these are guys that aren't stars. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I barely recognized any of the names. Yeah, like except for a few. And the thing is, like, it's nice to sit down with the punks and and you know, Bret Hart DVDs and stuff like that. that's cool. But what about the guys that are just struggling to make it? Mm -hmm. You know, the guys that cannot pay their bills. Right. And that's, those are the guys that we should be paying attention to. Those are the guys you, we should be supporting. One of my favorite parts actually was the the one when he talks to Shark Boy. Mm -hmm. That was really cool because um, Shark Boy, he was a guy in TNA. What's a guy, yeah, guy, he guy, he had a name, he had a name. He was in WCW. Well, yeah, he was. Yeah, he had, some, he had some, some push behind his name. You know, people knew who he was. You know, he got really big over with his Stone Cold parody, and, and uh, you see this guy, and like he's still having fun. He still wrestles like at, like a local show, it's, like where his son goes to school, and like you know, and like one thing I loved about him most was like um, he talks about like you know like oh you know my, the greatest thing I ever done do is like not not wrestle, to be a dad, and like you kind of see like a more human side of like you see like a more personal side of wrestling. And I thought that was really cool, and I think that the message of the DVD oh. was really good too, because I think that as wrestling fans, we've become bloodthirsty you know yeah we, look we we don't we don't care i mean yeah. nigel cut a promo in his career one time about how the fans the fans aren't there at the hospital when mm -hmm. he is uh, on a sunday morning you know mm -hmm. and it's true we're not we expect great matches 
these guys kill themselves for us mm -hmm. and then you know we just kind of chew them up and spit them out yeah and I, I think one thing I think I think with this message like the DVD about like the bloodthirstiness of fans I think maybe that was like a shot at like some of the WWE fans who's just been like oh we want blood in our company we want blood back and it's like well you know you know while blood is you know a nice touch here and there but it's like you can look back at like some of the matches like that have blood. It's kind of gruesome, like the Eddie Guerrero JBL match, especially. Like yeah, where it's just I, you know it's th this is this is a business guy, and like these guys are you know you you see guys that have scars in their face now and like that are you know permanently disfigured and like and like the risks they take, the health risks, it's just it's too dangerous it's, nowadays. Yeah, you it, know, and it's not worth it. I mean, yeah, exactly. Especially in 2013 when everybody knows it's fake. I mean, for lack it's of scripted, a better yeah. script. I mean, there's really no one good word to describe it no. because it can. Be, but the fact is, we all know, to some extent, that these guys are working together. Mm -hmm. And if we know that, we shouldn't expect them to go out there and just kill each other. I mean, look at what concussions have done to this business. Oh, absolutely. You know, look what bloodborne pathogens have done in the business and mm -hmm. outside of it. It's just, it's just the, not worth it anymore. The careers they've destroyed and ended, and just and these guys don't have insurance, no. especially the indie guys. No, exactly. They, you, know? you know, that's something you got to one. Like you know, these guys get sick, and they got to stop wrestling. Who's going to pay their bills? Right. You know, the fans are going to you know throw money at them just for sitting at home. And I just want to add something, and that is um, with the indie guys. And I said it before; these guys are the ones that need our your money and your support. Yeah. And I feel like. It's great to go out and buy from WWE shop. I mean, they got some cool stuff. Right, but right. ultimately, look at for your indie guys. You know, those those guys are the ones that need the money. And mm -hmm. I mean, they come out with some cool stuff too. Yeah. I mean, I, I love wearing underground shirts because it's very obscure. You know. Yeah, exactly. That's. I mean, this guy's got one right now. Uh, this is actually an ROH shirt. I got Chris Hero representing. So or Cassius Ono, as he knows. Yes, you know. exactly. So that that's just one thing I yeah. want to touch on is that it's worth going out of your way to help the guys at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, also, I want, I want to talk about like I think this is our favorite part of the movie. It's the Nigel did a very nice thing at the beginning of the show or uh, the DVD where he showed a clip of him and Tyler Black having a match at you said it was Take No Prisoners. That was, yes. Yeah. It was for the title, right? Yes, it was. Okay. Um, and he t he talks about how wrestling is an art form, how it's much like ballet. It's like you need to choreograph with your partner. It's like all about sequences. It's about bringing the crowd up and down at the right time, and just how when wrestling is done right, it is a thing of beauty. And it's just like, I think Nigel hit a dead nail on the hammer about how what we love about wrestling. That's yeah. exactly what I'm watching. Like he he got it. That's exactly what we love about wrestling. It's like we love those moments where like you are just watching in awe as these guys perform things that you didn't think were possible and just like how seamlessly they do these moves and just it, you buy into every single second of it. And exactly. Just, and the thing is, as wrestling fans, we've all been there where someone will look at you and say, so what is it about wrestling that you like? Mm -hmm. And it's hard to describe. It, it really is hard to describe yeah. what it is. And Nigel did a perfect job. If someone asked me that, I would show them that. Mm -hmm. That's Absolutely. what I would want to show them. Everyone should buy this DVD just for that, like, I think it's a five minute clip. Yeah. Just where the, he explains why wrestling is an art form, and it, it's it's the perfect description of why wrestling is, in my opinion, the greatest sport in the world. And another thing, um, I said earlier that there's really not a good word, but not thinking back, Nigel had a good word for it, and that was illusion. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is. Wrestling yeah. is an illusion. Mm -hmm. They show you what they want you to see, mm -hmm. and if they're good enough, you'll only see what they're show exactly. what they want you to. So. Exactly. Um, and you were also talking about the, the message, and like I, I'm going to tell you this right now. A wrestling fan absolutely will love this, but I think that even a non-wrestling fan, someone who does not even know who Nigel is, might ap will appreciate this story because Nigel does a very good job of explaining this. He doesn't, you know, doesn't go too far into wrestling. He talks about the business a little bit, you know, and he meets a lot of wrestlers. But really, it's about his life and just like, you know, it's all about that moment of like, you know, you're, it's about finding the success in your life and getting that dream and like accomplishing it. And I think his speech at the end, like when he's, um, heading off to LA, that speech he gives in in the car about like you know what you'll be remembered for is one of the best like conclusions to a DVD ever. Like that got me right in the heart. Like that was a very very touching speech, mm -hmm. and I think it's just you know it's it's a great movie for anyone. Anyone will get will get a good message out of this. And I think wrestling fans will appreciate it more, but I think people, even film fans or non film fans or whatever, just people that like good movies will love the message that he tries to get across. Yeah. 
Definitely. And Nigel definitely was trying to get get get, get the, a good message across, and I think he did a great job of it. I like how he he it was a double kind of message about dreams, but also about the necessary things that need to happen in wrestling. Mm -hmm. It needs to oh, yeah, absolutely. It needs yeah, exactly. to change. It needs to yeah. be he, safe. And th that's what we're all about. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Is yeah. Safe, exciting wrestling. Yeah. You can do both. You know? Exactly. You know, there's there, you, you don't need to risk your life every single night to, you know, get a, get a pop out of 50 fans in a, in a gymnasium. Right. You know. And, you know, this might be a good time to bring up the whole um, CZW Thing. Yeah, the, the, well, I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to talk about this. We'll talk about that in another okay. video because I don't. I want this to be just about Nigel and just how much we love and respect this DVD and Definitely. how we encourage every single fan of Nigel to go out there and buy it because it is worth your money. He's actually talking about trying to get it toured around the cities, and um, we've seen the movie. We own it. I'll still go see it in a, in a theater. I would love Absolutely. to see it. Yeah, and he, did he not? I believe he said it was at the can. Um, no, um, South by Southwest. South by Southwest. Yes, and then, like if he gets some picked up, I think this. This is Oscar worthy. He does, he deserves an Oscar for it's very it's very good. Oh, uh, it's absolutely. I mean, it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. It's well worth going out of your way. Absolutely. And, and the uh, thing is, um, I don't know if uh, he sold out of the DVDs with the bonus material. I believe he did. Did you get one with the bonus? No, I did not. I got the one at the show. Well, if 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 it's possible to get the bonus material, I say go for it because usually you think you know it'll be twenty minutes of footage, mm -hmm. but it's a good hour. Yeah. I mean, it's um, a lot of footage. What he, what he, what I've heard from him is that it, the the bonus material is more for wrestling fans, you know. But it, so if you're if you're just a casual movie going person, buy the regular version. But if you're wrestling, if you're a hardcore wrestling fan and love Nigel and love everything he does, absolutely go try to get out, go and buy the extended edition. Yes. Well worth the money. Well said. Um, do I want to give this a, ra a rating and all? If, if we do, I got time. So, I don't know. It's a, it would be hard for me to rate this. Um, it's just something that. It's worth seeing. You yeah, know, you it's it's it's, it. it's an experience. It's it's yeah. definitely it'll change it'll change the way you look at a lot of things in life. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a ten. I'm just there right now because I, I read movies a lot, so uh, it's a ten. It's probably the best documentary I've seen this year, and uh, we fully support this with all our hearts. Yeah, absolutely. All right, that's it for now, guys. Take care. Bye.